Good morning students. In today's class, we will learn about the binary backup algorithm. So what is binary exponential backup algorithm? It was initially proposed for the computer networking where multiple computers share a single medium or a channel. Means it is used when number of stations use the same channel for sharing or communicating the data. So previously it is most commonly used in Ethernet and Wi-Fi networking standards. But the problem occurs that when the resource become available, everyone else means every station try to attempt and grab it. So what will it will do? It results in delays because most of the stations are trying to send the data at the same time. So the collision will occur and every time all the entities means uh, the stations will have to spend their time for resolving this confusion uh, means to which a station will send the data. So for this problem, the binary exponential backup algorithm has given the solution. Backup algorithm is a collision resolution mechanism. Means it resolves the collision problem which occurs when the stations are trying to send the data at the same time. And it is used in random access MAC protocol that is CSM and CD protocol. This algorithm is generally used in Ethernet to reschedule uh, the tree transmission after the collisions. So the binary exponential backup algorithm in this, if a collision takes place between two stations, so then may restart retransmission as soon as the collision will occur. What we are trying to say that if uh, two stations are sending the data and the collision occur, so they start transmitting the data after some time. This will always lead to another collision. If both of the stations send the data at the same time or retransmit again at the same time, then another collision will occur. And in, if they keep on trying and the collision will occur, they will go into the infinite loop of collisions and leading to the deadlock. To prevent from such type of scenarios, the backup algorithm is used. As we can see in the diagram, let us consider a scenario of two stations A and B, in which A and B both the stations are sharing the same channel and trying to send the data at t equals to zero time they send the data. But after some time, the packets of both A and B collide and both the stations A and B detect the collision that the data which they have sent has not reached it to its destination. So what will they do after a collision? So if they are using the binary backup algorithm, it divides the time slots that is called the discrete slots denoted as t slot whose length is equal to 2t where t is the maximum propagation delay in the network. And the station involved in the collision, as we can see in the diagram that A and B were involved in the collision. So both the stations will randomly pick a number integer from the set K that is 0 and 1 and this 0 and 1 uh, that set K is called the contention window. If again the sources will collide, they pick the same integer but the contention window size will double that is 0, 1, 2 and 3. Now the source involved in the second collision, if again the collision is occur, so now the stations will pick the number from 0, 1, 2 and 3 and wait for the number time slots before trying them. Before they try to transmit, first they listen to the channel. If there is, it is busy, they will wait for some time and if, if it is idle, they can send the data. This causes the source which pick the smallest integer. Suppose if A has picked integer 0 and B is 1, so A will transmit uh, first and then B. So in this way, the a collision will not occur. So the backup algorithm defines a waiting time for the stations involved in collision. That is the how much time the station should wait to retransmit. Here the waiting time is equals to the backup time and let n equals to collision number or the retransmission serial number then the waiting time can be calculated as k into t slot where k is the contention window ranging from 0 to 2 to the power n minus 1.